So let's get into this joke of January 6th committee hearing. January 6th emergency hearing delivers a laughably absurd bombshells today. I think with a, such a prompt needing of an emergency hearing, there would be some bombshell evidence till today, right? If you thought that, you thought very wrong. Full of hearsay and absurd evidence. Consisted of anything that they decided they want to do or say. Claim by Cassidy Hutchinson says, this is a former Mark Meadows aide, protesters on January 6th had AR-15s. Yes, you heard me right. AR-15s. Lee Kelly says on Twitter, so cops saw men with rifles before Trump's speech? Let him speak anyway? Hmm. No one was arrested. The area was not immediately cleared off and locked down. How is this Trump's fault? Ms. Cheney backed the claim during the hearing, quoting what appeared to be completely mistaken police transmissions, and I'm just left wondering how stupid they think the American people are. Let me get this right. Protesters were carrying AR-15s, but there's not one picture of it. Single picture of these armed insurrectionists. But cameras being everywhere. Okay, with a rifle, would have been illegal. Police saw people carrying these AR-15s, allowed our President of the United States to continue to speak at that time? Makes no sense at all, given the protection protocols. Furthermore, these AR-15 carrying pro, uh, insurrectionists apparently use these weapons, which again makes no sense at all. Especially if their goal was to commit insurrection. Oh, but it gets better. Hutchinson dropped a jaw-dropping bombshell later on. Trump may have thrown a plate against the wall, being told that there was no election fraud. He later on speaks and says, I don't know about you, but I want Trump in handcuffs right now. We simply can't survive as a democracy if he isn't punished for getting ketchup on the wall. As if her fanciful little tale is even true. It's of this crime. Says, all of this is mudslinging and is pointless and is simply meant to push a, a partisan narrative crafted by other than Nancy Pelosi and the like. States, there are no bombshells here. There's nothing but dud after dud. This January 6th committee is a total embarrassment. Archer continued to push this narrative, which is farce. It with emergency hearing, the nation suffers under inflation, an economic downturn. This is a huge slap in the face to us normal Americans. Continue to say that the backlash in November will be swift. Country crazy out.